Hello, welcome back to the Villa View. Aston Villa 1, Leeds United 0. Let's hear what the fans have got to say. Quite a comfortable night at the office for Villa. We, we won 1-0, but Leeds didn't really trouble us, did they? No, but it was an important victory, wasn't it? Another yeah. three points which cements our position. Um, felt like we made it a little bit difficult uh, in the second half. I would have felt a lot better if we got that second goal, but we got the three points in the end. That's what matters, doesn't it? All about the three points. We got the three points, and um, so we got the early goal. Thought that will settle us down to push on, and but like you say, Leeds didn't really cause us much. Did they have a shot on goal or their names? Yeah, just a routine three points if there's such a thing. So. Yeah. Training match, simple as that. So I thought, to be fair, that they had 11 injuries defensively yeah. midfield. And I thought, do you know what? I thought, they've got to come here surely and go, do you know what? We might lose 4 0, but have a go. And go, do you know what? We might as well come in, not discre- if we get beat 4 0. But if we have a go in an attacking intent, then we do it. And it didn't make any sense. Sayed's probably one of the most creative players on the bench. And I'm thinking he's come on and probably changed it a little bit. But why haven't they attacked us all game? It's, it was like, you know what, we come here or we might lose one or two nil, but we just damage limitation and do, do all right. I was like, do you know what, they've got nothing to play for. They might as well come here tonight and got at us because I'm thinking likes of Sayed, Alawiski, a few other their attacking players are quite pacey. I was looking at our back four today, I'm thinking, do you know what, they probably could get in behind us a little bit pace-wise, and they didn't do it, and in the end, it was just literally routine, Whelan blocked everything out, he was superb, he cut, he cut it out, if not, Yednak or Chester cut it out, we, we played forward easily, and it was literally like, well, we broke your midfield, let's, have, let's just play around with your back four, and it was just a dolly, really, it was quite like, yeah, this is all right, we'll take this for the rest of the season, have a two or three games like this, just mucking around in knocking it around and getting everyone touches on the ball it was happy days really uh, we played absolutely well uh, Graven played up, uh, not awful great uh, Whelan played excellent all the team played excellent first half first 25 minutes we were going for it we had a load of opportunities uh, I think Leeds only had one chance in the first half so defensively we were strong going forward possibly could have got a few more but the goal was taken and one goal was all it needed in the end which um, if it stays like that to the end of the season I won't complain if we get in the wins. I thought we played really well first half and I thought after, when the half time whistle went I thought second half we're going to score another two or three more goals. Um, Leeds came out there showed a bit of a better team second half but really it was our match. Yeah just easy 1-0 job done. I, I disappointed with Leeds I yeah. thought they're you know Reading are the worst side I've seen here this year but uh, and Barnsley I, they're bottom three they're awful God knows what's happened to them terrible I think they all did a job tonight sir, and that was get three points sir. and um, so um, we got to uh, get a dame or a bit of rest and he come on and he looked a bit refreshed and Codger got what 60 65 minutes there it, that's going to uh, pay for the rest of the season so yeah really good we've been saying Adoma looks a bit jaded and he comes on and he looks lively when he came on as well I think he showed flickers um, but I wasn't overall impressed with him to be honest yeah um, I felt there was other players that that played better but it was good to see that Adoma didn't uh, didn't start uh, and he and he came on and, and and changed the game a little bit. I felt better when he was on the pitch. Um, Neil Taylor towards the end did better, but you can tell he's yeah, you can tell he's short of confidence. Uh, but yeah, good good. There was some Conor Horan had a rest. Obviously, a very important player for us, and we still got three points. That's the most important thing. Onima came in for Conor, and he, he's not been he hasn't been the most popular signing either on loan. Onima, but yeah. he he played really well tonight. I'm not so sure. I'm not so not so sure. Uh, I'd like to see him show some more determination. Um, I'd like to see him. He's got, as I said, he got flickers. Is that final ball? He does something good, and then it's something bad and something good. Um, so yeah, not wasn't wasn't too happy. I'll have one more go. Glenn Whelan. He had a good game, didn't he? Yeah, he definitely did. He was my man of the match. Yeah. Um, massive determination. Great anticipation. Getting involved doing the dirty stuff today and um, you can see why Steve Bruce signed him uh, yeah very pleased do you think if we'd have got a second we'd have gone on to score th- three or four tonight I think the door was opening in the second half especially Hogan had a great chance uh, at the end I think uh, Graben also had a great chance which was saved uh, Adoma late on so there was chances there were big chances in the second half but I thought Leeds may have just um, took the second half from us a little bit but obviously they had to come and fight for it uh, obviously being 1-0 down but in the end, they couldn't break through, and luckily, the one goal was enough. Another lone player, Graben, he's been a useful addition for us, hasn't he? Because he's, he's been in and out of the team, but he, when he's played, generally he's scored. What was it you said you didn't want him? 
I, I, I sometimes make mistakes, Aston, but yeah, I did. I wasn't sure about signing, but as I say, he, he has been a good addition. Happens to the best of us, Dan. Happens to the best of us. Yeah. Oh, no, he's been good. And he's a better footballer than I think anyone thought. His first touch is a joke. The way he pulls the ball down out of the air and goes bang, killed on a 50 pence, and then like that pass to Hurahan the other night. I know it's going back to his Tuesday night, it was an absolute joke as well. He's got no right to whip that in yeah. behind. It's a great header tonight as I just appeal off, give himself an extra half a yard, and head it back across the keeper, where a lot of it, the strikers would have just gone boom towards the keeper. He's done, um, <laughs> he's done well. It's a great header, and I thought, you know what, he's, he's a classician. And to be fair, we go up or stay down. I'd, I'd want to sign him because I think he's got a bit about him and he can he improves us 100%. Absolutely brilliant today. Um, yeah, I, he's, he's on loan, isn't he? And, he? and his work rate is absolutely fantastic. He's playing um, uh, left back at the start of the second half, you know, and you, you, you can't fault it. You can't fault it. He, 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 suits, oh, I don't, he suits our style of play a lot better than Hogan does. Willing had a good game, yeah. I thought he's, um, he suits him, that holding midfielder, like Yedinak. I thought Yedinak played. Yeti in that back four, to be fair, it was solid at the back as yeah. well. Yeah. Do you think Sam Johnson touched the ball in the second half? Because I'm, I'm not sure he did. Well, apart from when he had his goal kicks. People were saying, oh, when Bjornsson had his tweak at the back against um, against Cardiff, that'd be a big miss. To be fair, Whelan has stepped up massively. Yeah. And to, but today, he was my man of the match. Close to Yedinak, uh, Chester, done well again. Uh, he does the basics well, like you said, and uh, he's improved his physical game uh, even more. And he, I think he's even gained pace, which I didn't know that was possible. He just does his job, doesn't he? It's um, the dirty side of football, just simple things and give it to a better player that will play forward. He, he does a job, so, you know, he's never going to be... Um, Lionel Messi, but he, he does a job, so he's like, you know, a poor Makalele, but he does his job, so, so yeah, um, um, he, he had a good game tonight, so, as quite a few, James Cheshire, again, he, he played really well, so, Mm. I've never, I think Glenn Williams is a fantastic player. He's been brilliant for us. You know, if you, you read on online, you know, he's this, he's that. I think of the games, you know, Forest away, he was fantastic. He'd come off after 60 minutes. Sheffield Wednesday away, brilliant. You know, we, he's, been, he's been fantastic this year. He had a ropey December, didn't he? He was poor. Yeah, yeah, he's poor. But, you know, he's, he seems to have got more mobile as the season's gone on. on. On Tuesday night here, I thought, God, he's moving really well. And... He's a good player. He does all right for us. I don't know what, what people want. I think if they want 11 Jack Grealishes, you know, who, who, who beat players and put ones in the top bin, brilliant. He's not that player. He just gets the ball and does the good things well. He's a, he's a good footballer. He's a good player, Glenn Whelan. I know you're not, not the most optimistic person in, in the world. Do you think there's any hope for second or is it purely playoffs now? Well, I suppose tomorrow. Pre- pressure's on now, isn't it? Yeah. We, we've got the points on the board, so it's up, it's up to Fulham and Cardiff to to win their games if they don't win their games if they draw or lose hang on a minute it's back on again but if we had an extra two three points on the board you'd be thinking this is alright innit but hey we'll see what it is if not it's playoffs and best of luck to us because it's a lottery simple as that to be honest at the start of the season I didn't really think about first place because no. it, it, you know it's always hard in the championship teams just from the bottom want to come here to Villa Park and beat us every yeah. time. But, you know, we need to perform now because it's nearly at the end of the season. And ne- who have we got next? Like Ipswich, Ipswich Town? Yeah, we got to really need to win that to get more points in the table and to be in the playoffs. It's just about keep knocking the points off. If I mean, if, if we can... Um We've got three games left, get nine points, that, that's going to put pressure on. We'll see, if, uh, that's all we can do. So just hope all the sloppy games have gone and we push on to the end and uh, get a bit of perfor- um, performance game for the playoffs if we get stuck in that, So, so which won't be looking forward to. But if that's the way we're going to do it, let's, uh, let's go in with some form and play like Aston Villa so I can see Fulham getting second or, uh, even though I think we could we could, if we had a few more games it's just our, our running's I think is the hardest out of the the top four yeah they've got pretty easy uh, running but the pressure's on them now we've got the points uh, tonight three points and I think we're a point behind Cardiff now but what we've got to hope for really now is playoffs don't slip up anymore and take it uh, take it to the playoffs and hopefully get to Wembley and then go up that way as long as we go up that's all that matters it's going to be playoffs, but I can see us going to Wembley. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to book my hotel. Well, if Fulham and Cardiff lose tomorrow, we're only two points off second place, and it's back 
uh, game back on again. I get angry when I think of the last few games because you see that tonight and we've just strolled it, haven't we? Beat Leeds and, you know, then I oh, left Carrow Road last week and it was just... You know, and, and so many times this year, how many times have you we left a game of football when Villa have lost and we've gone, do you know what, we had a go today and it's just one of those days. Sheffield Wednesday here... Um, and Wolves away. Now, the only time I've left, the Wolves outclassed us, fantastic football inside. And, and Sheffield Wednesday, when it was just one of those things, you know, that goal that went in, Terry went, yeah. But we leave, how many, Bolton, we left and go, you know, Norwich, QPR are after the great things of, um, of, of, of Wolves. And we've got, I've left and gone, do you know what, we just haven't done anything. And I think with Villa sometimes, sometimes, what, what do we actually, what, what are we doing? You know, last week I watched this and we've absolutely blown this team apart. You know, the four midfielders bursting. And then the next week you watch them going, what, what, what are we trying to do? We've got two up front one week. We've got one up front the other one week. we got, you know, we end up with Jack playing left, right against Norwich and going, what, what are we going to do? So how's our season going to end? I think fourth, third, fourth. I don't think we'll get autos. I think we'll get third and fourth. You know, I, th- I think the team tonight was um, Bruce, you know, Deep down, Bruce has settled for playoffs. Pretty comfortable night for Villa, really. 1-0. We, we could have scored more. I think I think we were kind of playing in second, third gear as well. We created a few chances in the second half, but it wasn't to be. But Leeds never really threatened us. And I've got to be honest, I don't really remember Sam Johnston touching the ball in the, in the second half. So, Codger's got some minutes, which was good to see. People like Whelan and Onimer have come in and had good games. I thought Neil Taylor's confidence started to grow again in the second half as well. And Adome has got a rest and come on and look fresh. So, overall, plenty of positives, really. We've ticked a few boxes tonight and we, we've got the three points and let's see where it takes us. I still think Autos is probably a little bit beyond us but let's just end the season well and see what happens. If you have enjoyed this video then make sure you're giving it the big thumbs up and comment below with your thoughts on the game, what you thought of the Villa boys this evening. If you're not already subscribed to the Villa View with your post notifications on then if you could do that, that really helps the channel grow and we really appreciate all the support we've had this season and last. There'll be some videos coming up soon, I'm not sure what but stick with the channel, stick with the Villa, up the Villa. If you enjoyed that video, why not watch another? Click the video choices on screen now to go and watch them in full. Be sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking our logo there on the left. Easy peasy.